Hey everyone, I'm Howard Pinsky. Being a Creative Cloud member has many benefits, but one of the most beneficial is the fact that you have access to the full lineup of Adobe's creative software. This opens the doors to an infinite number of editing tools and breaks away from your single application editing. In this video, I'm going to show you one example on how Lightroom and Photoshop can work hand in hand to give you breathtaking results. Starting out in Lightroom, here's an image that I shot at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado. I probably don't have to tell you that this image is nothing special to look at. Let's fix it up a little bit. Pressing the D key on the keyboard will hop into the develop module, which is where our adjustments will take place. Taking a glance at the histogram, there's very little white and highlights data. This can be partially corrected by increasing the exposure value to brighten up the image. Next, even though the image is still slightly dark, I'm going to decrease the highlights in order to bring out the blues of the sky and dampen down the clouds. The shadow slider right below will help bring out the detail of our image that was lost in the dark. As this slider is increased, the darker areas of the photo start to brighten up. But you may have also noticed that parts of the photo are becoming washed out or lacking in contrast. There are two adjustments that can help with this issue. First, increasing the contrast of your image will help create a strong separation of the white and black tones, leaving you with a less washed out look. Second, if your photo contains a lot of textured objects, you may want to increase the clarity. This will increase the contrast of your mid-tones in your image, which will really sharpen things up. Finally, to finish off the basic section, the vibrance can be adjusted to increase or decrease the vividness of your colors. For this image, the blues of the sky will look great when the vibrance is increased. Now pressing the Y key on the keyboard will show us a before and an after of our progress. I think you'll agree that Lightroom has been able to give a new look to this photo. But what if your imagination is looking for a little bit more? What if you wanted to go further and replace the sky completely of this photo and leave the rest untouched? Lightroom has a few features that can certainly help with this, but Photoshop may be able to make the process much easier. To continue your editing in Photoshop, right click on the image, find the Edit In menu, and then choose Open Smart Object in Photoshop. In a moment or two, your image will open up in Photoshop so you can continue your edit. And because we chose to open it as a smart object, anytime you want to make changes to the adjustments, you can simply double click on the Layers thumbnail in the Layers panel and up comes Camera Raw. Now, unlike Lightroom, Photoshop has a plethora of selection tools which can help you isolate objects in your image, such as the sky in this photo. Over in the tools bar to the left, the Quick Selection tool is a great selection method for photos like this. This tool works very similar to a brush, where you can brush over top of the areas that you wish to turn into a selection. If you need a larger or smaller brush, the size can be quickly adjusted using the left and right square bracket keys on your keyboard. As you brush over top of the image, Photoshop is creating a selection by examining the color and shapes that you're brushing over top of, and doing its best to avoid anything that you may not want. With a simple brush stroke, I was able to create a very accurate selection of the sky. Now, if there are any areas that got selected that you didn't want to select, Holding down your Option key on the Mac or Alt key on Windows will allow you to very easily brush out those areas. So now that a selection has been made, any adjustments that are added will only be applied to the sky. At the bottom of the Layers panel, Adjustment Layers can be used for a non-destructive workflow. Just like the Tone Curve feature within Lightroom, a Curves Adjustment Layer can help you tweak the tones of your image, or in this case, the sky. If you take a look beside the adjustment layer that was just added, you'll notice the layer mask that's revealing only the sky, indicated by the white area of the mask. And when the curve is adjusted, the sky is the only part of the photo affected. Let me add one more adjustment layer. This time, because there's no active selection, when I add a gradient map, the adjustment is being applied to the full image. When this happens, you can either duplicate the layer mask from the previous layer, or clip the adjustment layer. Position your cursor in between the new adjustment and the previous one, and with your Alt or Option key held down, click. This will essentially place the new adjustment inside of the previous masked layer. Now, as for the adjustment, I'm going to load in the photographic toning gradients. Select one of them from the gradient picker, and then change the blend mode of this adjustment to Overlay. This will give the sky a really unique look, which would be very difficult to achieve in Lightroom alone. To take this one step further, Photoshop will allow us to replace the sky completely. Over in this document, I have an image of a great looking sky. Dragging it over to the document that I'm working on, 
I can resize it if necessary, and then accept the placement by pressing return or enter. Now, just like with the second adjustment layer, this image can be clipped to the layer mask, leaving you with a completely new sky. So now that the edit is complete, because the image was opened directly from Lightroom, saving it is as simple as choosing Save from the File menu or Command and Control S. When you head back into Lightroom, your edited image will be right there waiting for you. Lightroom also keeps a copy of your original image before it was edited in Photoshop. Pressing G to go back to our grid view, we can see our original, and we can see the edited copy right beside it. For some, editing strictly within Lightroom may be enough, but if your imagination is itching to do more with your images, utilizing multiple applications may kickstart your creative juices. If you'd like to start exploring more of the applications that come with your Creative Cloud membership, check out the Creative Cloud Learning Center. Thanks for watching.